Yo, what's going on guys? BS Gaming here bringing you another Grand Cross video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the two new units that were revealed on Twitter by the official Grand Cross Twitter yesterday night. So the two new units will be the Ten Commandments, Dairy Area Purity, and the Elite Demon Dairy Area Purity. So they were released at the end of the trailer for the final boss, Meliodas and Elizabeth. So... This means that we will be getting a new banner when Astrosa leaves, and this means that Meliodas and Elizabeth will be next up for our um, our final boss battles. But I myself have never really got into the point where I watched Meliodas and Elizabeth. I never really saw what they do, their mechanics. So everything is pretty much new to me. So I'm going to be going into it blind. But... I do know a little bit about Derriere, the red one and the green one. So I'm just going to be going over these units and I'm going to go over whether or not you should save or you should skip uh, when the banner drops. So yeah, let's just get into it, right? So Derriere of uh, Purity, right, the Ten Commandments version, she is a red attribute and she is also very, very good. PvP wise, she she's uh, decent in PvP, but her main role is PvE because she does... An insane amount of damage her damage is insane because she has a high multiplier on her uh, skill one rank three does three a uh, six hundred percent damage so that's insane by itself but then she also has a skill two which ranks or uh, not ranks up but increases her basic stats by 50 percent on rank three 30 percent on rank two and 20 percent on rank one so this is similar to the sr aaron global got aaron first so they might know this skill from Aaron, but JP didn't get Aaron first. They got Derriere first. So this is similar to uh, Aaron's rank, uh, rank two or uh, skill two uh, card. So yeah, she is very, very good. So top on the fact that she can increase her basic stats by 50% and she's also dealing 600% with her skill one. She's, she's insane. <laughs> she's going to be doing insane damage. Not only that, she has Amplify on her ultimate, which at max uh, six six is nine hundred forty five percent. So she's gonna be dealing massive amount of massive amount of damage, right? So yeah, she is she's really really good. And then her passive is increased attack by ten percent whenever she uses a skill, but then it goes away when you stop using skill. So it's literally just like Combo Star. For every uh consecutive skill she gets, she increases her attack power by ten percent, which is insane. So she has she she has a an increased basic stats, her passive increases her attack by 10%, and then she also deals insane damage on her skill one. She's going to be dealing insane damage, man. And then this this has a limit of 10 times, so her passive can get all the way up to 100%. So that that is that is <laughs> crazy. And then her uh, commandment of purity just decreases the damage dealt by range attack of allies and enemies by 35%. It's uh it's okay. It's not nothing uh too good, but like it it's okay. But her main usage is gonna be in PVE, mainly because she she's gonna deal like an insane amount of damage. Like there's no way this unit is gonna be dealing like low damage because she just has so much in her kit that focuses on attack, right? In PVE, she is um she can do damage in PvP, but the problem is there's so many units nowadays that um, can counter her uh, attack, can disable her attack skills, uh, yada, yada, yada. She's just, she's really good. She's not bad at all. Like, don't, don't, don't take it as she's the worst unit <laughs> to come out, but she's definitely more effective in PvE when it comes to um, boss battles, when it comes to story mode, when it comes to just grinding events, I guess. Um, really good on the red demon. So yeah, she has her usage. I'm not going to say she's like the craziest unit, although she is really good, but I'm not going to say she's like the craziest unit. Um, she's definitely, she's definitely good. She's definitely, uh, up there in the top tier range, but she's just not, um, anything crazy, crazy, but overall she is an impressive unit and she's really, she's really good. I, as for summoning, I don't, free to play players probably should just skip because she's going to be available on the part two tickets and she's going to be available on the demon fearing goddess uh tickets they sh you guys should skip if you're free to play um she's again she's really good but her banner probably won't be worth i i will be summoning i will be doing at least 700 gems because i'm dumb um yeah but she she's um 
she's not worth it, right? If you're free to play, in my honest opinion. She, if you get her, like, you do a lucky single or something, cool. But as for, like, summoning, wasting your gems, no. Because it, uh, I'm, hypo- like, I'm, I'm, I'm hypothesizing that Lost Vane Melly might come out the beginning of September. So I honestly really don't even want to summon for her. But I will because uh, she's a good unit and I do want to test her out. So, yeah. So there we go with the uh, red version of Darie. So let's see what the green version has and the green version is uh of the lesser two right she's um she's not bad but she's not good um she has her usage in a certain th- like a, a couple of certain things in the game but overall she's not like the craziest so her skill one similar to green merlin right she inflicts 450 percent of damage right and then she depletes three ultimate move gauges so again if you use green merlin you know where this is from this is basically green merlin's skill but um, the problem is Green Merlin has um, a lot more utility than this Green Derriere does. And then her second skill uh, is an AoE, and it also fills up her ultimate move gauge by two. I really, I honestly do want this one as well, because I, I want to see where, like, where her best usage is. I want to just use her in general. But she, overall, her skills are okay. They're not, t- like anything meta changing they're okay I, that's what i'll give it they're okay uh she her aoe is pretty cool i'm not i'm not sure if there's another unit that does it although there probably is but um Esquinor has the same thing right so does uh aaron green aaron they when they fill up their ultimate move gauge but hers is an aoe so that's really uh unique i th- i think that's really unique so i'm not i'm not thinking of anyone else who has it although uh if i am just leaving the comments if there is another person but i don't think there is i think she's she might be the only one. She might be. And then her ultimate is the same thing as the red one. Uh, it has Amplify. So pretty good. Pretty good. The only thing is that this one right here doesn't have a way to proc her Amplify without support. So that's the only thing that's uh that's kind of like sucky. Because her uh, commandment is the same. And then her ultimate or her passive is just uh, ultimate move gauge will not be filled when enemies move skills. So it's the same as I believe it's the uh, green mod speed. So it's 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 weird because Mon Speed's like this is basically Mon Speed's commandment, but she has it as a passive. It, it's weird, so I I don't even know. But yeah, like she's not she's not anything crazy. She's uh okay, right? Her her um her usage will probably mo- mainly be if you want to have fun in PvP, ungeared, geared, whatever. I'm sure there's gonna be a rule later on where she's uh, more effective than um than normal but as for now yeah she's just okay the red one is is the um the better of the two obviously so yeah if there's if you are summoning you want to make sure you do summon until at least you get the red one if you're going to summon on this banner right and i would say don't go for the six six just go for one copy right one copy is pretty much all you need because she's still going to do massive damage right no matter what regardless because she has combo star she has um her unique she has her commandment she has her skill one she's going to do damage regardless so summoning for deuce really isn't all that important and once lost fame meliotis banner comes out she's going to be back so you can possibly get more which is why i would say don't like well well on her but, it, I mean, if you want to do it, it, it's what you want to do. So, if you want to go ahead and whale her, be my guess. But, personally, I would say be smart. Save your gems if you're free to play or if you're a budget player. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, loss, uh, not lost, <laughs> Demon Meliodas and Elizabeth are going to be our next final boss. So, yeah, um, if you want to, you know, see a guide on it, there's plenty of YouTubers. I, myself, am just going to go into it blind, probably. So, I won't be able to help you guys with information there because... They came out around the time I stopped playing GP. So I do know Melio's counters. I know Elizabeth's heals. There's a lot of mechanics that they have. But yeah, I'm going to, when they come out, I'll make a video and I'll go over like what team I'll use, how I'm going to beat it, because I believe they're both blue. And I heard Escanor and Esterosa like literally obliterate them. So that's probably what I'm going to try to do. As far as points go, I'm not sure what teams would be more viable to get the max amount of points. But all that will be figured out when they actually drop. Probably this coming Tuesday uh, for the East Coast people. So yeah, pretty hyped to see uh, this banner and the new final boss. But pretty much that's it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for more Grand Cross content. 
And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.